Hi everyone, I'm Nicole Guillaume with Guiding Echoes, the channel that encourages you to discover the wisdom of your soul. So today we are going to be playing some interactive games with your pendulum. So before you get started, there's a couple things that I need you to do. One is I need you to find a pendulum or a necklace that you feel comfortable working with because necklaces usually work pretty well. And second, I need you to make sure that you are going to be in an area where you're not distracted so that you can get the most out of these exercises. And remember, you're only going to be able to go through these once, but I will create videos similar to this in the future if you guys like this, if you guys like these type of practices and games, okay? So let's talk about a pendulum. I couldn't find my pendulum. I couldn't find either of them. Well, actually, I couldn't find any of them. I've got more than two. And so today what I'm using is a necklace. And remember, a pendulum is anything that has a strand or a string or a chain like this one and has a weight on the bottom of it, okay? So before you get started, you need to know how your pendulum says yes or no to you. And you can determine that by how it swings. So first, hold your pendulum loosely in your hand. And you're going to say, show me yes. So my yes is that back and forth swing. Thank you. And then you'll say, show me no. And my no is a clockwise circle, okay? And it's okay if your hand moves a little bit. I know a lot of people freak out over that, but because of the weight of the necklace, even though it's small, the weight is probably gonna cause your hand to move a little bit. So it's kind of like um, when you get a muscle spasm, your hand may move or where you have the muscle spasm may move. You're not moving it, but it's moving. It's the same thing with working with the pendulum. So you know you're not moving your hand, but your hand may move. So don't get distracted by that, all right? So now that you know which swing means yes and which swing means no, let's go ahead and get into our first exercise. Okay, friends, so for our very first game, our very first exercise, I need you to take a look at two items. You're going to choose one and you're going to decide, you're going to find which of my hands that item is in, okay? So the very first one I have is this green heart. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out the best way to show it to you. Okay, there we go, green heart. All right, and then we have the pink heart. So right now I want you to choose which of these two you wanna find. Do you wanna find the pink one or the green one? No right or wrong answer here, just choose one. You got it? Okay, so I'm gonna mix them up. I don't know which hand is gonna, each one's gonna end up in, no idea, okay? And so now I want you to choose which of the, or again, think about the, the heart that you chose. Did you chose, did you choose the green one or the pink? I can talk, I swear. Did you choose the green one or the pink one? Okay, so I want you to ask your pendulum if the heart that you chose is in this hand. Did you get an answer? If not, go ahead and pause the video until you get an answer. Okay, we're gonna move on to this one now. Ask the pendulum if the heart that you chose is in this hand. Good. If you didn't get an answer, just pause the video and wait until your pendulum responds. So I'm gonna go ahead and reveal what's in each of my hands in three, two, one. How did you do? For our second game, I want you to find a particular card. So we're gonna work with tarot cards with this one, okay? So this is the sun card. It's a fun, vibrant card. And I'm going to mix this in with some other cards. I'm gonna lay them out, and I want you to use your pendulum to find this card. Ready? So take a look at this card, set it in your brain, set it in your mind, I should say, and let your pendulum know that you're setting the intention to find this card. Ready? Let's go. Okay, friends, get your pendulums ready. You got them? Great. Ask your pendulum if it was this card. Ask your pendulum if the sun is this card. Ask 
Ask your pendulum if it was this card. Is it this card? What about this one? And lastly, this one. If you didn't feel like you got a good response from your pendulum, pause the video and go ahead and go through each of these cards on your own. You can touch the screen and hold your pendulum in one hand and ask it that way, or you can just look at one card, focus on it, and ask the pendulum if that's the card, which one the sun card is in, okay? So if you don't feel like you had enough time, pause the video and go, th and go through all the cards on your own. Otherwise, we're going to start the reveal in three, two, one. Okay, here we go. Oh my God, it was the very first one. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. All right. Well, that didn't take long. We don't even have to go through the other cards. But do you guys want to see what's there anyway? Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and have a look. Who else was visiting us? Man. We had some really interesting cards, didn't we? Look at Well, if this was a reading, this would be a really positive read. The sun Queen of Wands, the High Priestess, the Fool, the Two of Swords, the Ace of Cups. Great job, intuitives. Okay, for your third exercise, I have written down a number on this piece of paper. And what you're going to do is you're going to count between the numbers of one to 10, and you're going to use your pendulum or your intuition, however you choose to do this, to figure out what number I wrote on this piece of paper. So what I want you to do is you're going to pause the video and you're gonna think of number one and you're gonna hold your pendulum and see if it gives you a yes or no. Then you're gonna to go to two and you're gonna see what answer your pendulum gives you, a yes or no. Also, one thing I should mention is that it may not move at all. If your pendulum doesn't move at all, that's a no. I should have mentioned that earlier. If your pendulum doesn't move at all, that could be a no. So just keep going through all of the numbers until it moves. Or if it does give you a swing that says no, obviously go with that and wait till it gives you a swing that says yes. Ready? So go ahead, pause the video, count through numbers one through 10. And as soon as you're done, unpause the video and I will reveal the number. Okay, guys, here's the reveal. Are you ready? Are you nervous? What number? What number is on here? You ready? It is number seven. Is that what you guessed? Is that what your pendulum told you? How did you do? Okay, guys, for the fourth exercise, I have a little bit of a backstory for you, but it comes with a confession. And that confession is that I love Star Wars. I freaking love Star Wars. And I actually have quite a few Star Wars figures because there is a part of me that thinks I'm a 12 year old boy. <laughs> and so, yes, I have Star Wars action figures. I love them. And recently, BB-8, this little guy right here, oh, I love my BB-8, well, he went missing. And I have a Kylo Ren action figure that's been walking around like he's all that. And um, I think him and BB-8 may have had a confrontation and now I can't, I don't know where he is. So I need your help finding him. And I think he might be and one of these three pillars. Okay guys, it's a serious stuff. This is where we find out if your pendulum can find the missing leaders of the resistance. This is where everything comes to a head and we'll know if your pendulum is lying, if it's accurate, and if it can help us to find missing people or at least missing items or at least missing BB-8 units. 
So I have a feeling he's in one of these three. So we're going to number them one, two, and three. Because from my point of view, it's one, two, and three. Okay. So ask your pendulum, is it this one? Is it this one? Is BB-8 under this one? Okay. Now remember, if you couldn't find an answer, if we went through them too fast, pause the video, go through them at your own pace until you get an answer. Ready? We're gonna do the reveal in three, two. Okay, BB-8, come out, come out and play. Oh, nope, not that one. All right, is he under this one? BB-8, is that you? Oh, no, is he in there? Nope, not in there. All right, there's only one paint lace left, unless I was wrong. Maybe he's not in any of these. Let's find out. And one, two, oh, BB-8! My little buddy, did Kylo Ren try to get you? Evil Kylo Ren, man. Gotta look out for that guy. All right, guys. Well, that is it for your pendulum slash epic Star Wars adventure. I hope that you enjoyed this, but let me know what you thought of this type of game because if you guys like these, we can definitely continue. So leave a comment in the section area down below. Tell me how you did. How accurate was your pendulum? Did you get most of the answers? None of the answers? Was it 50-50? Did you even use a pendulum? What did you think of this game? Leave your comment in the comment section down below. And also, if you would like more tips on how to enhance your intuition, I've created this very short little playlist. You can check out this video right here and it will lead you to other fun games that you can do and exercises that you can use to enhance your intuition. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.